Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am really excited. I am going to be doing a review of my two favorite diaper bags. This is the Lula Baby Monaco diaper bag and the Petunia Pickle Bottom Method Backpack. So these are my two go-to diaper bags. I rotate between the two of them. I am the biggest diaper bag nerd. So these videos for me are super helpful on YouTube. So anytime that I am looking to invest in a new diaper bag, I hop right on here and listen to other moms like myself and see what their take is on them. So hopefully my video will be really helpful for you too. So first I am going to hop onto the Lula Baby Monaco diaper bag. This was actually the well, second diaper bag that I used after my daughter was born. It was a little bit of trial and error at first. I had initially had another brand diaper bag and it just really wasn't working for me. And I saw this all over my Instagram, a lot of moms using it and did some research on it and realized that the size, the compartments were best for me in the way that I organized my diaper bag. So this one here again is the Lula Baby Monaco diaper bag. It is, I believe, a vegan leather. Um, so, and honestly touching it, you would literally know no difference that it's not real leather. I have, it's super easy to clean. I've spilled things on this more times than I can count, milk, formula, you name it. And just with a quick little um, baby wipe, I can really easily clean everything off. So, and my daughter is about to be 18 months. This has, I have used the heck out of this paper bag and it is held up beautifully, which is another one of the reasons why I really wanted to sing its praises on here. It's, it, I just, I've used this a ton, like every day almost, um, other than when I'm using my other one. <laughs> um, but I mean, I have used this a lot and I've been worn it as a backpack on my shoulder and there's no signs of wear anywhere, any pulling from any of the straps, you know, um, from the actual bag itself, anything like that. Um, so it's it's held up absolutely beautifully. So definitely, um, you know, for the money that you're paying, you're getting a really quality diaper bag that is going to last. Not only if you have one child, have another, have more children down the line. So, and it is just really easy to clean up, which I really really like. So, first off, it has this really nice um, strap, and the strap can be. Um, you can adjust the strap so you can, if you wanted to turn this from a shoulder into a crossbody, you can do that. And then the nice thing is, is that this actually, um, this strap actually comes off. So if you did just want to use the um, backpack straps and just have it solely be a backpack for you and not have that other option, you can do that too. Um, the backpack straps are completely adjustable. Um, there's many different, um, uh, little cutouts there where you can adjust and make it to fit your, your back best. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I found that the straps are really comfortable. Um, they don't dig into my shoulders or anything like that. Um, I actually also have the um, petite version of this. And what I will say with that is if I do have a lot of stuff in my bag, it just sort of, I don't know, I feel like it sort of sometimes digs. That's just Maybe it's just the anatomy of my body, um, but that, that's what I found. I felt, I feel as though these um, straps are definitely much wider and, you know, given it's a larger bag, you know, obviously they're going to be larger, but it just, it makes it so when you have a lot in there, you don't feel like they're, like the straps are digging into you. So I really like that, that portion as well. Um, it's got this flat back here. And then the other nice thing here. <clears throat> is it has this really, really pretty quilted front pouch here. Sorry, here we go. With the little insignia um, on the front and it has this little magnetic closure here, little button there. And this front pocket is also, um, does have a zipper. So that's really nice. So if you have like your wallet and stuff like that, you don't have to worry about it. You can just, <clears throat> excuse me, um, zip it right up. So this is great. It's, there's a ton of room in here. Let me try to open this up so you can see it. Sorry. So ton of room. It's a really deep compartment. I feel like I'm not doing this justice right now. So really, really deep compartment there. Um, 
<clears throat> I fit my mini wallet, my phone. Um, I usually also keep a pacifier in here um, and a small travel case of like little wet wipes um, and it all fits perfect. I even have room for more, honestly more stuff in there. <clears throat> so that is great. Now the other part that I absolutely love about this bag is how effortlessly you can unzip and zip it. As many of you moms know, a lot of times you have literally are working with one hand. You have either a baby in one in, in one hand, um, you're holding something. And what I will say is that when this is fully, completely full, I literally just have to like go like this and it, I don't even have to tug or anything like that. It just glides like a dream. So, and I have done that more times than I can count. And I literally never have to be like yanking at it. It just totally just glides right open. It's fantastic. So the another another perk about the Monaco um, <clears throat> size bag is it does come with a changing pad. So the petite version of this does not. So that is another plus that I absolutely love about this. And the inside of the changing pad is kind of this nice wipeable material. And what I do also like, you know, is that it's really squishy. So it provides kind of a lot of support if you have an infant, that sort of thing. So I loved this. I used I use this all the time when my daughter was an infant. She's a little bit big now, she's a toddler, so getting her to stay put on these sometimes is a little difficult. But <clears throat> and then inside it has this really nice kind of like silky white fabric and it is super super deep. This is I, I literally call this like my Mary, my Mary Poppins bag. I can fit the most insane amount of stuff in here and still have room to more have more in there. I don't I don't know how it is. So um, what's also really nice is it does have so inside here it has all of these little like stretchy compartments. So like these little um, around the top of it has a little elastic, so it does stretch, which is nice. Um, most of the time if we're going like doing like a day trip somewhere or something, I will put my, you know, like two bottles in here. Um, and then I also just will tuck other stuff in there too. So there's four inner compartments, again, super, super deep compartment. And what's nice is that if you have the, the bag full and you're kind of like maybe like putting one or two things on the top, this top part is deep as well so it also has like it's almost like a little bit of a dome so if you do have a few things resting on top of everything you have in your bag it just completely it, it'll fit extra stuff on there because it's it's like a deep um top um portion of the bag so like i said you can fit just the most insane amount of things in here so um then one thing i forgot to show you guys is um, this also has, so right here, it has this zipper compartment and the zipper compartment is really, really deep as well. So you can fit a bunch of nice, good stuff in here. So, um, and then the bag also comes with stroller straps. I don't, I actually, as you can see the plastics on these, I haven't used them. I have stroller straps that I keep on my stroller all the time and just haven't used them, but you can tell they're really thick. Um, and they, you know, hold a lot of weight. So I've seen a lot of moms with this bag, you know, having them on the back of their stroller and it, it looks great. So, sorry, a little laundry going. And then again, hashtag mom life. So the other thing I forgot to point out is on both sides of the bag, it also has these little magnetic, um, pockets here too um and it's really nice that there's a lot of room in here a lot of room so i will i'll put either a bottle i've a lot of times had like a bottle and then my big water bottle on the other side or if you do want to just put random odds and ends in there it's really nice it's accessible and it does have the magnetic closure so if you do have some things in there you don't want falling out um some added security there so again this is a great bag. I've used this again, like I said, so, so many days and it's definitely worth, um, worth the investment. So that is the Lula Baby Monaco diaper bag. Last, but most certainly not least, 
This is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Meta Bag in uh, Pooh Friends in Bloom print. So I'm absolutely in love with this. This is my probably my newest diaper bag that I've um, purchased. Um, it is completely full right now, so bear with me as I sort of review it. Um, I will probably have to take a few things out. So my probably one of my favorite um, features of this bag, which is in a bottle in here, um, is that it does have insulated side pockets that I'm such a fan of. So many diaper bags don't have that. And that was like honestly what really sold me on this bag other than a lot of other features. But um, that was like my, my favorite thing. I just, especially in the warmer months, um, if you're on the go and you're running errands and you have, you know, you, you throw a bottle in there with milk, you know, you want to make sure it kind of remains a little insulated. So that is great. Um, and then if you flip it around, it has these um, straps. They are adjustable and they're padded, you guys. And then also the back is padded. This feels so comfortable on. Um, I mean, I have, when we've, you know, maybe been off like at the zoo or something like that, I've kept this on my back and I mean, it really feels super, super comfortable. So that is, other than the insulated pockets, is my favorite, one of my favorite features about this bag is the, how comfortable and the padding that so many diaper bags don't have that. And it's so amazing that this does. So, and then it also has some hooks here for you to be able to um, hook it onto some stroller straps. Um, the What I will say is I have had this thing packed to the brim, had it hanging from my stroller, and there are, and I've done it more times than I can count, and there are zero signs of wear. There's no pulling or anything like that. Um, I have had some other diaper bags where if I do have it hanging for an extended period of time, that the I've actually started to see the um, threads start to pull from from the bag so um it has not done that at all so so that is that um the other nice thing that this has is it comes with this cute little clip on like you could honestly use it as like a mini wallet you could put a little pacifier in there for um easy accessibility and i don't have anything in it right now but it's just super cute comes with that and then it also has these really really deep front pockets too so um for i've thrown just little odds and ends in here like pacifiers i've thrown um little um wipe on sunscreen that sort of stuff in here and it's nice easy to go and you can have quick accessibility for things that you don't want to um dig in the bag for now, the other great thing about this is, is it has a zipper at the on the top of the bag and you can throw some additional things in here and there's a bunch of room in there. So all of my stuff, honestly, all of the things that I really want to like quick grab, I usually put everything in here. So like my little wet wipes are in here. I have a little brush for my daughter. I have this little... Um, thing here that opens and I can rest my phone on if we're out to eat and she's getting a little crazy I can put on some cocoa melon or some Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for her um in a pinch so <clears throat> now the other thing is is that uh, just like the other bag I reviewed um the um zippers again on this one glide like an absolute dream if you're doing it one-handed you do not have to tug or pull or anything like that so it's fantastic and then when you want to do it, this top part pops right up. And let me just take some things out here. Bear with me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Again, just like the other one, super, super deep compartment lots of storage lots of little compartments in here there is a little back compartment here that again is really really deep has a lot of room and then there's two little um elastic -y compartments on the sides if you want to throw bottles in there instead or something like that something that you don't want tipping over and then there is this little like little um, elastic 
back portion here. For stuff you want to put in there. And yeah. So again, this is another one. I have packed this thing to the brim. I am a notorious, notorious overpacker. I like to have everything in here ready to go. Every scenario, you name it, I want to be prepared for. So um, the I think my favorite thing is just the amount that you can pack in these. These are good for more than good for day-to-day -day running around, but if you are you know, at an amusement park or taking, you know, the, spending the day at the zoo, the aquarium, you can fit everything and then some in here. Your ch children's stuff, your stuff, more than enough room. So <clears throat> it is fantastic. So can't sing enough praises about these two bags. This is both, of, and I just want to do like a little side by side. As you can see, they both are very similar in size, which is probably why I like them the best. Um, and hopefully, so yeah, hopefully this review was really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer some questions that maybe, or things that maybe I didn't touch base on and isn't maybe clear by the end of the video. So thanks for watching.